are at NAB uh, 2020. It's the future. And, I'm sorry, CES, the Consumer Electronics Show. NAB won't be until April. Anyway, this is Madeline Nolan, and you came here from Washington, D.C. That's correct. And so, uh, when are there going to be receivers? What's the latest on receivers? So we have uh, 20 in 2020. We have 20 receiver models announced amongst the large three manufacturers, Sony, Samsung, and Philadelphia. Uh, when exactly they're going to hit the show floor, excuse me, the retail floor. Uh, I've heard spring, I've heard midsummer. I think it's going somewhere in the... That's a soft software. You know, the TV guys will... So, keep it a little bit close to the basketball. Those are the ones we're talking about. Great. Yeah, in the booth here, you've got a Sony over right there. Wow, well, Sony's beautiful. Is it? It is. Is yep. that going to be a three thousand dollars set? You know, I'm not sure what the prices are. I'm pretty sure that one, many of these are high end sets. So a lot of new technology will come out of the range and work their way into the middle and the lower tiers of the uh, product. Uh, I was told by LG theirs is going to be like that at 8K. It may well. I think Samsung's entire lineup is 8K, and uh, LG is running from 55 to 85 inches. Uh, and uh, I know some of these are cool, but I don't know the details on them. That, that particular set over there is pretty gorgeous. Yes, it is stunning. Uh, of course, it, it's playing a 150 megabyte file a second off a USB stick right now, I think, to show 4K space for you. Right. Yes. Uh, I don't know what's in the back end of that, to be perfectly honest. It's a good-looking video, I'll give it that. That's what that. what these guys told me, the, okay, the ones right. with the gateway. There's a gateway on the desk. Yes, I see that, yep. And they said they made 200 of those. Okay. So you can hook an antenna up to it and watch ATSC3 on your phone, tablet, or computer. Um, I, I guess that's still in the lab, right? I think so. Um, however, there are products uh, out on the market, so in the... May I bring a guide in front of the video to show? Of course. Um, guide to Next Gen TV at CES. Um, and so you'll see several gateways. There's another one over in that corner there. Ah, oh, that's the... And Diane is a middleware maker, or what are they? Uh, so they do a number of things, largely on the back end for uh, station operations, but they also have some great technology where you can come with ATSC 3.0 signals and one dot as signal. Right. So you can start doing 3.0 even before you can have your trailer. And then these guys, Bit Router. Bit Router, they've been around. They announced a uh, white label set top box, which does all this work. Uh, so, and that's a, so that might be even be an entry level kind of thing. It may well be. Yeah. So looking forward to it. So how does this how is this going to play out? Is it going to be two years? Usually CES in January is what's happening next Christmas. You know? Nobody's going to buy. I think that's probably about right. I think ATSC 3.0 is going to take a number of years. Right. But even once we have critical mass and, and traction in the marketplace, things will continue to evolve. Because part of the whole purpose of changing from ATSC 1.0 to 3.0 is to have an evolving standard. That's one of the most important things. So, if someday 8K becomes important in the marketplace for broadcast television, we come to 8K, you know, who knows what's right. going to come in the future. In the Samsung booth here, that's what the Next Gen TV logo says. For 8K, there's a big old asterisk by it. That's right. And I guess that's for the Olympics coming up. I would hope so. Yeah. But I would envision the broadcasters will roll out additional services and additional features over the years. So we are committed to coming back to CES in right. 2021. Of course. And we'll probably have new news uh, what else is going to come, what new models, what new features are coming out, um, and how the, uh, how the deployment is evolving over the I, I hope it will evolve continuously for many, many, many years. And behind us is a live demo, is that right? That's right. This is an uh, over-the-air demo. Maybe Tanisha could be a better person to explain the over-the-air demo here. Um, but uh, that's on the Sinclair stick, and it is live um, ATSC 3.0 on an LG OLED television. Well, they, they've left, but they talked to me. Uh, your friends talked to me earlier. They told me this is on uh, RF Channel 33. That's right. That's right, yeah. And... Um, uh, it's coming, it's rebroadcasting the NBC affiliate for Las Vegas, KSNB. That's right. And, uh, oh, that's a little microphone there. And, and is that going to be on the air through the NAB show? No, right, right now we, we have an experimental for the duration of the CES show. And uh -huh. then when we were targeting going live at the beginning of the April, NAB time frame to uh, uh, permanently go live. Okay, so RF33 uh, over the air.
on that screen right behind us there. That, thank you, Tanisha. I really appreciate it. And uh, so I think that's the. It looks like a couple of years before every Best Buy will have an ATSC 3 set, right? Uh, we'll see. Yeah. Uh, I hope hoping. that every Best Buy has an ATSC 3 set this year. But, yes. Yes. Uh, we'll have to talk to our friends at Best Buy and all of our friends in the uh, electronics industry to find out the exactly how it's going to play out. But, uh, so, uh, the people backing this ATSC3 Next Gen TV booth I read on the wall are Sony, Pearl, uh, One Media, the, the people that are doing the Gateway. Who, who else? Sinclair also appears. Oh, Sinclair Broadcasting, yes. yeah. And Dolby is part of the Pearl demonstration over wow. in the corner where they're listening to the uh, voice boost. And then Guy and Solutions up here, uh, which is uh, talking about 3 and 1 as well as the back end. Dolby, Diane, and uh, that they all pulled together. And I'm sure this was not uh, a cheap thing to do in this prime real estate here in the middle of CES 2020. We're very fortunate. Okay. Hey, we've gone on for six minutes, so thanks a whole lot, uh, Tanisha and Madeline. And that's the 2020 report for ATS3, ATSC3 Next Gen TV.